now, ladies and gentlemen, I am here to present to you part two of this, well, commentary. Enjoy. A common characteristic of this type of commentary is the overuse of a small sample of reaction images, which is understandable. After all, Google Image Search can only supply so many Pikachus until you've reached the bottom of the barrel. One other interesting note is the overabundance in use of anime characters. This would seem to hint at the fact that the vast majority who choose this style are, in fact, weeaboos. Really? You're labeling me as a weeaboo solely based on my avatar choice? What if I called you a criminal based on one image found in this video? Would that be fair to you? Okay, first and foremost, I am sorry for saying this, but you kind of sounded like Gub Teal for a minute there. Because that's kind of an argument I'd see him using. Second... He really wouldn't care if you called him a criminal because of that one picture you used of the robber stealing credit card. He'd mostly laugh at you because, as I said before, this is a trolling video. And this is where I have to slap myself in the face because Jim81Jim is friends with Big Al 2K6 and Darkscream217, whom are anime fans. And plus, he participated in one of Darkscream 217's videos as, as Darkscream 217 was using his Ryoko avatar. Therefore, he has no problem with that concept of people using favorite anime characters as avatars and com commentaries. However, this leaves me with one interesting question. Seeing as how my avatar was drawn by me, since I am a aspiring writer and manga and comic book artist, does this image here alone make me a weeaboo by the generation standards, considering that nowadays you have to be considered in you have to have a, an interest in anime to even be called a weeaboo these days, instead of just having an obsession with Japan. Also Transformers Fan 328, this is what I was hinting at in my last video. Well, in regards to your title, I think it was rather deceptive as you addressed every argument he made in this video instead of the argument that I believe you were solely going to address, which was the anime avatar apparently equals weeaboo argument. Which is why, in my humble opinion, with that alone, this could have been a one-shot, but that's just me. This second most popular style of commentary utilizes a basic feature in most video and audio editing programs called audio ducking. This refers to the lessening of the original video's audio track to allow the commentator to be heard over it in real time. Unlike the cutaway style of commentary, this one adds nothing in other than a new audio track, thus keeping the original video's length intact. This style of commentary can be traced back to a patient zero of sorts, directly to Retsupre. Jim, don't kid yourself, and please, for the love of God, since you're not that stupid, don't kid us either. Uh, either. We all know that commentary, the concept of commentaries is, as far as we know, originated from audio commentaries on DVDs, where the directors, actors, voice actors, screenplay writers, is, is storyboard artists, whatever else the hell, would commentate in on the episode or movie that they're watching and they would basically either critique it joke about it and basically question each other on what the hell they were doing in the process of the, of the um, filming and basically from what I can gather Retsupre took that concept and applied it to making videos on YouTube as they commentated on Les Plays and whatever else the hell after SA Goons decided to begin doing their own brand of commentary on LPers within the YouTube community, it quickly spawned a whole host of imitators. Sadly, these imitations lack the one thing that made Red Supre successful, namely, humor. Without the ability to actually be funny, these videos are just as god-awful as any other type of commentary to be found. Actually, that's the funny thing about humor. I believe I mentioned in my commentary Mr. Punch Drunk 1's rant slash review on Invader Zim, and I will attempt to mention it in my a commentary on Helsing 920's review and reaction video to Kekassi if I ever get around to it, but humor is a subjective term. 
basically, if you find something funny, not everyone else is going to find it funny. And the things you don't find funny, a lot of people probably do find funny. Some of these other commentaries you're mentioning, a lot of people probably found funny, while as you, namely, didn't because, well, they don't have the same type of humor that Retsu Parade provided. Just saying. This style of commentary is marked by a few unique features. It's most often used by the unsavviest of internet denizens. You can tell when a commentary falls into this category by the mere fact that what's being commented on is neither present in video or audio form. Whether the commenter was spurred on by such rage that they forgot to include what the hell they were commenting on, or whether they just don't understand how to download a video and put it into an editing program, still remains a bit of a mystery. The entertainment brought on by these types of commentaries is akin to watching a monkey eat its own shit. You laugh out of pity and disgust, and nothing more. I fail to see what you were going for with this part. This is another point which I should have caught in understanding that this was a troll video, because if I'm not mistaken, Jim81 Jim is also a, f a friend of Random DC, with Random DCE. And... Transformers Fan 328 also being aware of Random DC, you should know of his content, such as his Eric Coffees and how they're just one image as you hear the audio of the video in question and then him commentating on that audio. Much like Joshua 8 or 28 did in his earlier commentaries and I did with mine. Also, Jim81 Jim did a similar kind of commentary. Hey, on Metal Mouth 44, <laughs> which again should also point it out that this is a troll video because that point right there kind of makes him look like a hypocrite. Just saying. The final type on the list has, over the last year or so, become more prevalent. With so many videos being commented on, the choices to pick from have become more and more limited and have led to retreads or commentaries on commentaries on commentaries. The most notable feature of this type of commentary is the inability to tell who's commenting on what, since by this point, so many loud retards are yelling at one another that you might as well close your eyes and sit and spin. This I felt was the issue with Dark Angel Light's commentary on Tuber's commentary on her commentary on his response to Dark Raven 488's um, video. I believe around the third or fourth time she had done this is where I started to see that as the problem. However, from what I can tell, Transformers Fan 328 and Raushutsu, who kind of rem remedied this problem, oh yeah, and Shadow Star 1224 as well, by create by using different avatars as instead of their originals to kind of differentiate when they were speaking in the present and when they were speaking in the past. This aspect might as well be taken to heart as it will come in handy for many commentators should they ever do echoes. Sadly, current projections show that this will soon be the only kind of commentary around within the next three years, culminating in what some have called Google's final solution in which YouTube will only have one video available, which is comprised of every video on the site. The sound emitted by this final video will have a brown note-like effect on users and cause their heads to implode, thus bringing an end to the commentators once and for all. I have no idea how that's possible, because some of us know when it will be commentary overkill. Oh, yay! I get to counter both arguments! Okay, first Jim 81 Jim's argument. First off, the, this is becoming a pet peeve of mine. It happened with Blizz Valve, and it happened with Metal Mouth, and it happened with Azap. Apparently to them, all YouTube was was just ranters and commentaries, ranters and commentaries. Where, as a person who has been with YouTube for quite some time, I can readily tell you, actually I visited the site long before I signed on to it, but I can readily tell you there is a lot more to this site than, you know, just commentaries and rants. You can watch stop motion videos, you can watch cartoons, anime, TV shows, or whatever TV shows are uploaded. You can watch movies, you can watch skits, you can watch a crap load of things outside of commentaries and rants. And now on to addressing Transformer Fan 32 Co 328's argument. Transformers Fan 328. 
While a lot of commentators, much as Young Blood Fantasy, who actually made the rant on this, know about commentary overkill, there are some out there that are just that stupid to not know commentary overkill when they hear it. Apparently, some commentators will come along that will one day they keep commentating on video, on top of video, on top of video, on top of video, on top of video, which will uh, basically prove everyone Jim right. They're out there. We just haven't met them yet. So now that we know what a commentary is and the different types that exist, we're left wondering, what now? What do we do? How do we live out these next three years until Google's final plan is realized? For those who actually think like this, how about you watch videos that aren't commentaries or rants? You know, let's play stop motion video, those music presentations, guitar lessons, guitar covers, music uploads, crap like that. Well, you could turn off the internet, but that's silly. After all, most people's imaginations just can't compete with hardcore porn. What if as a writer and comic book slash manga artist you have, you, you have the ability to create your own brand of hardcore porn? And yes, people, I am implying something. So, that option's off the table. I suppose we could try and avoid video content sites, but if we do that, where are we going to get our fix of cats playing the piano or people getting kicked in the balls? Well, to be frank, people could watch that as opposed to watching commentaries. No, it would seem that the best solution is simply to not be a part of the problem. We need to make a concentrated effort to stem the tide. And how do we do that? Simple. Stop making commentaries. See? I told you it was simple, didn't I? Okay, I'll stop making commentaries when I can't find a video flawed enough or I lose motivation to do one. Don't be so quick to judge people, bring up points that viewers can easily follow, and think about this. If commentaries pointing out flaws, aka criticism, is bad, then what makes any reviewer or ranter any different? I'm done and I'll see you next time. Allow me to try my hand at answering that question. What makes a reviewer or ranter a little bit different is a reviewer takes legit licensed content, such as a movie, a book, a comic book, or a TV show, and they give a critical analysis on the good, the bad, and the downright atrocious aspects of the content in question. A ranter just angrily exp or aggressively expresses a sort of negative opinion on su certain subjects in question, while commentators will commentate on anything. Let's plays, rants, reviews, what have you. And some commentators just commentate on something for the hell of it as they make jokes and pointless insults rather than sticking to brutal honesty and constructive criticism. See the difference? Well, that's pretty much it for me and Transformers Fan328. I thank you for making this video. And young author Adam, I also thank you for informing me that the content in question was actually a troll video so I can make this thing. But anyway, that's pretty much it for me. This is Demonic Grimson signing out, and I will see you all in the next video. Have a nice day.